Hey YouTube, this is Power Bricks and I'm back with another LEGO Megazord review. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Deluxe Howling Moon Megazord. Now this Megazord is comprised of three Zords and they're all actually blue. We have the Wolf Megaship right here. Right here we have the uh, Howler Tank. And over here is the, I guess, Omega Flyer. So, pretty cool. We can call this one um, the Alpha Ship. And this one Omega Flyer. And we can call this one the Howler Tank. Yeah, so those are the names. So we have three of them. And they're actually pretty cool. And they all have their own little thing going on. And the cool part is that they can all combine into a freaking Megazord. And this guy has his own Zord mode. So let's take a look at all of these guys right now. And then we'll dive into the combined mode and go from there. So right here is the Alpha ship, and this is absolutely insane. This thing is humongous. It has nice colors. We got silver, light blue, some regular royal blue, gold, black, gray, white, all these different colors that line up very well. And there's also some red in there. Really nice ship. Kind of gives me the Astro Megazord vibe, uh, but it's still really awesome. And you can see the dog head right there at the top. But overall, really nice. I do like these guns right here. Nice silver pieces. And I really do complement the other uh, Zords very well. And the colorway is really nice. Now, I didn't build Rangers for this. This was a Mech Katara figure, but it's predominantly still a Megazord anyway. So we can still go off of that. There are also some thrusters back here, uh, about six. So that's pretty nice just to get this guy off the ground. There are some adjustable panels down here that can move around, I guess, a little bit. But they're really for the Zord. But overall, really nice Zord. I do love the silver on there. Just The detail is nice. It reflects off the light really well. The blacks, everything is just the chef's kiss. And then on the side, you actually have this dog face. You can see there is a giant dog with a cannon on the side. So that's actually pretty neat. You guys probably didn't even notice that. But there's a wolf right there. And there's also a wolf on the top of the uh, base of it. I guess you could say the cockpit. But it's pretty nice. That's pretty much all that this guy can do. There's nothing else that he can do at all besides just be a ship. So this right here is the Omega Jet, and it's actually one of my favorites. It's really cool, and it has a Voltron look to it. You know, it looks like the blue Voltron line, but it's actually a wolf. And it's still pretty cool, though, but we got nice wings with gold and some gray and black, some cannons in the front, and they are adjustable, so there are things that I can do with it, little poses and stuff, you know, as it zips around and flies. That's pretty nice. The head is articulated also. It's, uh, you know, it's a dog with wings, so I guess uh, it works. And there are some fangs that are in the place of guns, so I think that's also pretty cool too. A nice addition to detail. Red eyes, we got some gold up there and some more red on here. There's some nice silver, and we also have thrusters back there, and you can see the connector port. But overall, really nice Zord. I do like the light blue accents that are in there too. Just decided to put that in there for a, uh, I guess a design choice. So I think it's pretty cool for the most part, and it's gonna do its job, it's a jet. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. I just love that head sculpt in the silver. What about you guys, what do you think? So next is actually one of the cooler ones, which is the uh, the Howler tank, or the Wolf tank, whatever I called it, but this dog tank thing. Really cool, it has a giant cannon in its mouth, very uh, similar to Garurumon, especially the, uh, the wolf that's on the jet, the giant uh, ship, that one too. Pretty cool, but you can see there's yellow eyes, silver ears, nice metallic gray all throughout. The color scheme is beautiful. There's red on there, we got yellow eyes. We got some light blue on the side. He also has claws and they are articulated. They can move around, which is really neat. He has some rolling wheels. Can't go wrong with those. So overall, uh, he's very attentive to detail. There's also a pivot on there so he can like move around when he rolls. So let me show you guys exactly what that looks like. Well, I went a little too hard, but almost unpegged it. That's how hard I was going. Let me fix that, right, boom. So now, yeah, he rolls pretty well. So overall, it rolls really nice, nice details. I like the cannon in the mouth, it's pretty cool. So yeah, teeth, all that, nice cool little dude, little pivot there, can't go wrong. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this Zord here. So now that we've seen all the Zords individually, I can now show you guys what the Mega Ship can do. It can turn into its own Zord mode, which is pretty nice, and then we can get the like Super Mega Zord mode when all of them combine. So let's get into that right now.
So here he is in his werewolf form. And this is really cool. It's a werewolf fighter and it just looks insane. We have this giant wolf cannon on the side. You see the giant silver fangs and red eyes. The cannon looks insane. The barrel is there. You see the werewolf head right there in the middle. He has an arm that moves and functions like a real robot. And the cool part is that his legs move. He's super articulated, so he can do a lot of cool stuff. I think that this is an awesome Zord. A werewolf and a wolf jet and a crawler, which is cool. Bring that guy in, and then I can put the other guy on the stand and bring him in too, just to have him in the shot. Let me see. Let's try to get a good shot with these guys. Something like that. This could be the thumbnail with these three like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, boom, there it is. Woo, that is awesome. That is awesome. Now, I had to sacrifice the head and sit it somewhere else, but the, this is the Zord head, and I can't attach it to the dog right here. So, it looks like it kind of has like a tail. So, I guess he got a super mode, too. He got an upgrade. So, yeah, that's where I'm going to put that. So, boom. Really nice. I like all three of these guys. They are awesome. They are freaking awesome. I should have built a ranger team for these guys. Three rangers. Like a blue ranger, a light blue ranger, and like a silver and blue. That would have been pretty cool. But it's okay, though. Uh, they're still awesome. Now that we've gotten it into the Zord mode, I guess you can kind of say. We can go over some of the articulation. We got 360. Whoa, the ears flew off all the way which was crazy but these things don't hold on too well they keep falling off and i don't know why they do that but that's like a thing but don't worry though i managed to fix it okay so his taking uh, his articulation is pretty nice for the most part now i do have an app crunch on here which is pretty nice let me show you guys you can raise these up a little bit and then there's like an app crunch boom pretty nice pelvis thrust there are decent there's a decent amount of light articulation I'm gonna lift that up and then I can lift that bend that knee like that I mean it's pretty nice it's pretty nice for the most part I love this werewolf form it looks really cool I think it's awesome it's like an awesome mech super nice so yeah that's pretty much it for the werewolf form let's get this into the megazord form so first we're gonna grab our doggo and we're gonna take off his arm I'm sorry and then I gotta fold that up and then I'm gonna fold this up like that and this is done okay this is all we gotta do for the dog form next we get the doggo on wheels and once we get doggy on wheels we take off doggy's tail which is the zord head sorry and then we're gonna take off doggy's arms sorry doggy and then we're gonna flip this connector out what the heck just fell off? Oh, both of them? Weird. Okay. Um, these just fall off out of nowhere. But boom. Once you take those off a doggy, we then have another arm. Which is pretty nice. So, boom. I then can get the claws of the doggy, fold them up. Also, let me grab the other one. And now we connect. So here is the Howling Moon Megazord, and this Zord is freaking insane. I mean, it is jacked with armor. I mean, it is decked out. It's absolutely crazy. Now, you can see the giant wolf cannon on the side. It's there, and it's flaunting all of its awesomeness. The back has a giant backpack. The ear problem. That's the only downside, that ear. But besides the ears falling off, we have this giant giant backpack of wings and on the other side that's not even come on 
do I even have to say? There's a giant cannon and there's another giant cannon on his shoulder, which just makes him even more beefy than he already is. And it's insane. Now, details, articulation, you know the wings move back. We have some um, arm movement, but if I move the wing all the way back, I can, I think I could pull a full 360. Yeah, I could pull a full 360. There is some outer movement like that, which is okay. But guys, look at this arm. It is a massive, massive arm. This is crazy. The, 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 the double freaking triple if I put this one up. Oh man, let's see. Oh man, yeah, just like that. That's all he has to do, and it's it's over, it's over. But one of my favorite things to do is this right here, with the uh, Howling Cannon. I think that this one is pretty cool. It's like a move called Howling Cannon that I thought of, where all of the dog heads and just do this thing, Cerebus Blaster. Yeah, Cerebus Blaster. Whoa, we. Oh my gosh, this is so hype. This is hype though. The leg articulation. It's there, guys. You guys know that this guy is heavily articulated all the way, like 100%. The head movement is there. His head can turn. He has this awesome, awesome head sculpt with these silver ears. You got this gray, this gold, the red. It just fits so well. This Zord is absolutely awesome. 10 out of 10 won't make it again because this is a true classic in its own nature. This is definitely a classic. This is a Power Bricks, a Power Bricks classic. My bad, guys. I'm just super hyped over this one. I think that this one is one of my favorite builds ever because I love blue. And when I did this, I was like, yeah, this one is gonna be awesome. And he's so freaking heavy. And that's the thing, he's just massive, chunky, beefy, buff, bulky robot. And it's like, it's everything a collector could have ever wanted. Lego and Power Rangers or just Transformers, period. This is one of those robots where you're gonna be like, oh man, this is a grail. This is one of the grails. Definitely a grail. He, he doesn't... He's in, his, he's in a class of his own, man. That's why I feel like he, he was so cool, man. This could be a Silver Ranger Zord. That's how cool this is. But this is just his own thing. And I think that this sword is awesome. He stands very well. Everything is truly, except for the ear. Everything is truly articulated. Um, that's the only bother is the ears. But that's okay. That's like something that can easily be fixed. But there, there's nothing else to say about this sword. You guys know what it is. Um... Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. That's pretty much it for this Megazord review. I hope that you guys enjoyed this luxurious dog. And this is Power Break signing off. Peace.